Hello, it's Thea from Thea's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to emulate Wii games or GameCube games on an M1 Mac. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is to open up a web browser, and we're going to download a program called Dolphin, and we can choose macOS ARM slash Intel Universal, and it's gonna download to our downloads folder. Once Dolphin is downloaded, we can go and open it up, and we can drag it to our applications. Now we can go and open up Dolphin, so before we play the game, we first need the game's ROM. There are a couple different ways that you can acquire this, either using an actual Wii to dump the disk into an ISO, or you can use something called raw dump to dump it into an ISO that you can play with. After that, you're going to need to convert it to a dedicated Wii ROM file, but once you have that, we can go and open it up. It's in a Wii BFS file extension. So you can just click open and here's our game. So before we play it, we need to set up controllers and this varies from game to game, but I'm gonna show you how to map it for Mario Kart. So in order to map controls, we can go into this controllers menu. You have a variety of options here. You can emulate GameCube controllers or you can use Wii remotes. You can pass through a Bluetooth adapter to connect real Wii remotes. I found that it doesn't really work that well. The other thing you can do is you can emulate it and use the computer's Bluetooth adapter, but I also couldn't really get this to work either. But in order to map virtual controls, we can select one from this list and we can click configure. And here we have all the buttons and controls for the chosen controller. To set them, we can just click on the button here and then press a key and it will set it accordingly. So these are the controls that I recommend using if you want to play Mario Kart. But once we have the controller set up, we should just be able to double click on the game and run it like this. And here it is working. But yeah, that's all for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips and I'll see you next time. Bye.